Shalom Israel, this is Sister Kana and welcome to another edition of COI Times, Children of Israel Times in the Days of Prophecies. And it's so amazing, I give all glory and praise to Ahaya Asha Ahaya Bahashim Yeshaya. I'm so thankful. Uh, bless his holy name and his covenant with our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, that he would consider Israel and bring Israel back. Um, I just wanted to do this article on the tabernacle. Now, it's not a written article, although I do have a new article up on my web page, the COI Times um, dot blog dot com, but it's talking about sacrificing to the Most High, which goes into what I'm about to speak about, the tabernacle. Um, it's just been on my spirit to look in um, to the tabernacle. We know that we will go um, back into the wilderness again, that Israel will dwell in tents, and that we will go back under the law of sacrifice. And um, in order for us to sacrifice to the Most High, we must have a tent. So I just started like kind of like doing some research on tents and you know we know that the Most High took the children of Israel into the wilderness and he um, instructed Moses to build a tabernacle so that they may sacrifice to him. And um, when we go into Exodus 25 read that chapter it gives us all the information on how they went about building this tabernacle Moses then in turn um, spoke to the children of Israel and asked them to give gifts and offerings um, to help build the uh, tabernacle so this is something that the children of Israel did and they offered and um, they gave gifts to the Most High f f um, to build this tabernacle so we know that we will be going back under the law we will be um, sacrificing again to the most high we will have a tent and the most high will speak to the children of israel face to face this is what the word says so i went and i had the opportunity to go check out the tabernacle uh, replica that they have and um my sound wasn't so great so i'm going to narrate narrate over the actual video but i want you to give you guys a glimpse and um, I, I'm, I just it's on my spirit to do whatever I can to build this tabernacle and I'm sure that it's on uh, you know other people's spirit as well because we we're getting close and we know that for those who have eyes to see and ears to hear that we will come back under the covenant of the Most High that we will be in the wilderness again and that um, we will sacrifice to him a higher so okay so here it is I'm at this site and you can see that I'm talking in front of the holy the um, outer court and in the background you can see the white um, sheet now that sheet is supposed to be all linen pure linen and then at the front part of it is also supposed to be um, mixtures of purple red and blue linen as well um, co coverings so um, I'm, I'm speaking but my sound wasn't so great so I have to narrate over it for now so I'm outside of the, um, the gate and I'm about to go in and we're gonna see a replica of the temple that um, Moses was commanded to build the tabernacle and um, as we go in you can see it's huge he gave Moses the exact measurements of what he wanted the temple to be and so with that we can have a blueprint of what the Most High was looking for now we know that the Most High said in the Bible that he will restore all the vessels and all the, the holy things that were taken from us while we were in captivity while we were under this curse that he he hid these things in certain parts of the wilderness and that they will be restored back to Israel once we're all together so we don't really have to worry about having like um, the, sh the table for showbread the sacrifice altar and these things because the Most High have preserved these things for us so you see the veil we have a um, this is the you know replica of the veil with the colors the purple the red the blue um, and then when you walk inside you see the the layer of the the tabernacle which was lined with the gold so 
you know, and the show table, the table that held the show showbread um, for the uh, priests to eat and I guess sacrifice. That was all gold. Um, the candle stick, all gold. Um, they even had some replica of what the how the Israelites even dressed back there. That is um. Uh, I guess to burn the incense and they have the vessels that were used you know all just replicas but this is gives us an idea of what we will ha have back in the wilderness and you see the uh, the Holy of Sof Holy Veil vale and how um, it covers the um, the inner room which is the holiest of holy right now this room is the the holy the holy room there's the holy and then the holies of holy so this is all like you know holy territory that only the Levi priests were allowed to come in and to give the sacrifice so uh, we're gonna walk into the holy holy room and here we see this is where they have the Ark of the Covenant now of course you know these are the Gentiles and they have built this replica so we have to go into the Bible and study and to know that to make sure everything is right because you know we are the ones who keep the law we are the ones who will teach the gentiles and the other nations how to keep the law and sacrifice to the most high so we can't we just have to you know study to show ourselves to prove and go into the scriptures and know for sure that you know what this stuff is actually right but we're looking at the art, um, replica of the ark of the covenant and this is what um, moses was commanded to build with the children of israel in the um, um, wilderness and to sacrifice to him and we know that we will go back under the law of sacrifice with the most high in the wilderness and this information is for those who have eyes to see and ears to hear because not everyone believes that not everyone knows that and understand it even though as we try to wake people up and show them you know what is to come a lot of people will actually fight against that kind of information so inside actually this is um the Ten Commandments, just a replica, and Aaron's staff, and they have um, just some manna, which is the Corlanda seed, which just gives the color of the of the um, the manna, but that wasn't what they actually had. So they put that all in the Ark of the Covenant, which is awesome. But we know that this, we will have the real things that. Um, the Most High has preserved for us when the children of Israel come back um, into the wilderness and we go under the law and start to sacrifice to him again so now we know now this is something that I really wanted to talk about because we know that we cannot go into the wilderness sacrificing to the Most High on the wrong holy days so that's why it's imperative that the children of Israel know the correct days and there seems to be a lot of discrepancies about the holy days because we got um, people in, in you know infiltrating um, into the camp of um, some of the Israelite, the, me, the 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 information is being distorted. They, you know, then their um, people are trying to lead us astray as we even try to come to our Father. So it's important that you know the correct holy days. You should, each and every one of us should be creating our own calendar and following and checking out the seasons so that you can find out the holy days according to months. Because so far. It hasn't been correct and I have created a calendar I have put up many videos about the holy days which you can go into my account and see and you know make corrections because people are really trying to um, deter and distract the children of Israel from coming back to Ohio we cannot go and worship and sacrifice on the wrong holy days the Most High will destroy us in the wilderness for that and also calling on the wrong God his name is Ahia, Asha Ahia, and I am that that I am in ancient Hebrew. That is his name. We cannot go into the wilderness calling on Yah, Jehovah, Yehovah, Yahweh, Yahuwah, Yahishua, whatever. Those names were given by the Jewish Masoretes, and that is not the God of the Hebrews. So this is important. We cannot go in the wilderness calling on the wrong God. Our God is Ahia. And he is the true living God of Israel, maker and creator of all things. And he was the one who commanded Moses to um, build this tabernacle. 
and as you see the breastplate for the Levi priest to wear we have all the 12 tribes listed on this and um, you see the garb that the brothers w w um, will be wearing um, some you know something to that effect with the fringes and things like that and we will go into the scriptures and make sure the information is correct so that we can do things according to the most high and um, I'm so excited about that but just getting back to the holy days and the correct day to worship the most high also the this moon sabbath will definitely not be tolerated in the wilderness um, brothers and sisters who are following that doctrine will have to get the true understanding that the most high will not accept that in the wilderness the 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 moon sabbath going according to the moon cycle is not the um correct calendar we must know the correct holy days and call on the correct name ahaya so here we are at the tent the tabernacle um we are right outside the tent and you see the tent will be made of the goat's hair the shah hair and i think it has three or four layers so with linen and things like that so we're actually seeing the a replica and know exactly how we are to um, put things together as we prepare for this time so the children of israel will have to come together and start to um you know you know give gifts and give offerings to this tabernacle these certain things like this where they went to wash their hands and feet before going into the tabernacle these holy replicas will be restored back to us the real thing the most high has kept for, for the children of Israel and when we go into the wilderness these things will be res restored back to Israel this is the ark of sacrifice I mean where they um, would sacrifice the um, calves and the bulls and whatever and um, the, you know they made the exact measurements and the sizes but we know that we are to go into the scriptures to get this information so that we will know exactly what to do and it's really not that hard we just have to come together and do these kind of things and I'm gonna um, do whatever I can and get as much as I can to have an offering to the Most High because I'm very excited about this and I I'm just I can't wait <laughs> as we prepare for this time we see the prophecies unfolding we know that the coming of Yeshaya is right at the door we start to prepare our hearts our minds and our spirit for this marriage and um, to go back under the law which is not grievous to us we just just we have to just know what to do again the holy days mean everything you must have the correct holy days I I did a video about um, there being a, a d discrepancy with the daylight savings and if you look at that video I'll, I'll give it to you they changed the daylight saving times which when you're making a calendar it throws off the days which will bring you into the wrong seasons and so we have to also look at the seasons um, spring is is when is the first month and usually spring is in April you know and March is the usually the 12th month so it's important that we understand this so and even going into fall fall is fall and when we go into the um, feast of trumpets and these fall feasts is usually around fall so it can't happen at a certain time of the year just looking at the seasons for themselves and this is what we must take account of when we're doing the calendar so that we can get understanding okay um, I bless the name again of Ahaya I'm so excited all praise and glory to his holy name and his the coming of his son Yeshaya Shalom